Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Box, and Teen Titans Go to the Movies may actually be good. Retro Nemo already made a video talking about all of that, you missed it. But to get to the point, its entire plot is grounded in meta humor. It seems like we're actually going to get some legitimate action scenes, something new for Teen Titans Go. And while the animation doesn't look too different from the show, the color palettes stick out. Guys, this movie looks so pretty. But among all that, there's a brand new character that we should talk about because they're pretty important. Not many people have talked about this, but Teen Titans Go to the Movies isn't just the debut of Slade in Teen Titans Go, well, as a speaking role, but also this director who tells the Titans she only makes movies about real superheroes. Who is this woman? Well, her name is Jade Wilson, voiced by Kristen Bell. And all that we really got on her so far is that she's a director of popular superhero films. Now, Kristen Bell actually stated, she's definitely an amalgamation of the stereotypes one might think of when they picture a grandiose director. But fans of Teen Titans may recognize that name. Yeah, Jade Wilson sounds a lot like Slade Wilson. You know, Slade. And judging by her white hair and pale skin, there's also a connection to Rose Wilson, aka Ravager, a character who's already appeared in Teen Titans Go. Now, if Ravager is the daughter of Slade, that leaves Jade as two options. The big sis or Rose's mother. Could Jade be Slade's wife? I mean, she may be a bit on the younger side, but with that white hair, we just really can't tell. And plus, she's a cartoon. Although, since her name's Rhyme, they could also be brother and sister, leaving Jade as Ravager's aunt. So while she's obviously related to Slade, unless that's a red herring, which would blow my mind that that's just really clever writing, because no one would suspect that in Teen Titans Go. Everyone's expecting simple humor, a simple plot. Yet, since Slade is portrayed as the main antagonist, and the goal of the Titans in this movie is to defeat Slade so Jade can make a movie about them, the Titans are kind of in a lose-lose situation. Their reputation is down the drain, and the world will remain in peril as Slade conquers everything and everyone. But, if they get the upper hand on Slade, I don't think Jade would be too happy about that. Imagine the Titans going through this journey in the film, all this hard work, saving the actual world, and they still don't get a movie. Guys, the ending is already in plain sight. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some silly ending like they just end up making their own movie and putting it on YouTube. But since Jade has his apparent relation to Ravager, is she going to pop up in the movie? That'd be a nice cameo for fans. And just how much of Teen Titans Go is canon to the movie, if any at all? It seems as if this is the first time meeting Slade, yet he's already an established antagonist in the series. Unless the movie takes place before the show, but I don't know if that makes much sense. This movie is all about the Titans getting serious, living up to their name. And even if they do resort to the status quo at the end of the film, staying true to their goofy ways, this movie is on such a huge scale for the show that it wouldn't feel right taking place anywhere else but the end. Kind of like the first Spongebob movie. But as always, what are your thoughts? How do you think Jade is related to Slade and Ravager? Let us know in the comments below or tweet the directly to me at Vox. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at RoundtableVids. Help us grow by subscribing to the Roundtable on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name feature at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things animation. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Ostrich Vox, out.